Hello everybody, Philip here and uh, please do not forget to subscribe, share with a friend, like and comment. Today I'm going to start mid latitude cyclones which is climatology. So this is my first topic and uh, pretty much the first topic on the syllabus. So today I am going to give uh, the basics, the foundation that every geography student should know before you go into a geography exam so if you cannot answer all the questions that i'm about to say right now just don't stress you know uh on the next video i'm going to give the answers to all those questions right so these are basically questions that have been repeated over the years over and over and over again so these are questions that we should be knowing by now so let's get into it right so i call this the mid latitude cyclone checklist so firstly you need to know the three other names of a mid latitude cyclone. Secondly, you need to know the direction in which a mid latitude cyclone moves and why it moves in that particular direction. Thirdly, you need to know the season in which a mid latitude cyclone affects South Africa and why in that season. Number four, you need to know how to draw a cross section and a synoptic, a synoptic diagram of a cold front and a warm front. Five, you need to know how to identify and name the developmental stages of a mid latitude cyclone. Six, you need to know the differences between the mature stage and the occlusion stage. Okay, now that I'm done with those, now I come to the paragraph questions, right? So the first paragraph question that usually comes is uh, you giving positive and negative impacts of mid latitude cyclones on farming on the economy, on settlements. And then the second paragraph that usually comes is you asked to describe the weather conditions brought by mid latitude cyclones and give reasons for those weather conditions. And then number three is you being asked to explain how occlusion occurs. So sometimes the question goes deeper to ask how the warm front occlusion occurs or the cold front occlusion occurs. So you need to know those as well. And then number four would be you need to know uh, precautions that can be taken to reduce the impacts of mid latitude of mid latitude cyclones. So for all these paragraph questions by now we should know that uh, the marks are four times two, which means you need four well explained point and for me i recommend that you do it like a boss and when they say four you give them five tell the market that you know what chill i got this and then uh there are a few terms usually you need to know what cyclogenesis is and you need to know what a cyclone family is and then on the cyclone family you also need to know how do you also need to know how to identify the oldest mid latitude cyclone, the one that developed first. Do not forget to subscribe if you liked it, comment, like it, share with a friend, a classmate. Peace.